Hi all, welcome to my another video. In this video, we will talk about creating new list item using REST API. So this is so. Before proceeding with this, we will check our previous implementations. So last we done with we have created one employee page and we just return all the values from employee list like the title name age and experience so now we will check how to create those items to our SharePoint list so for that first we will implement one HTML form to save those details to the list so I have already added some HTML files so we will just copy so first we will I will show you what all things I have written so if you copy I will show you okay so I have added one HTML file so what I actually have added you can see like this suppose okay so now yeah so what I think I added uh, we have added one text box um, and the one another text box for saving age and another text box for saving experience then we have given one button to submit those values okay so we just save and we will run our page so if you run our page so the HTML is came here so now we will put some styles also so that also I have written for time being so that I will show you what all things written so I just copy the styles then we will go to our CMLI CSS file then we will paste so I have given some input files like padding background color etc so we will go to our page and we will refresh here so you can see now it is successfully the HTML came so now we will go to the, our main module so how we will create the item so for that we have to create one function so we will go to our JS file so if you go to our JS file okay we will create another function to save so I'm just copying this one just copy we will create new function so just copy I will show you step by step what all things we have to do okay so we will remove all the things it's all things we don't want here okay so now okay so we will change the function name to add list item so here we are adding then okay we don't want these filters and all things so we will just put the list name employee so what we have to put like first we will put our employee list so here we are using the employee so now what is the request this is a post request so we will change the type to post so for the get request what all things we changed we have changed only the type of the request so now what we want we have to pass some data so the data we are passing another object we have here like the data so data then we have to pass the things so json dot stringify actually why we are using this stringify to stringify the data what all things we are passing so what all things we pass here we will pass the metadata first thing we have to pass the metadata so the metadata is actually suppose if you want to do this operation this create operation we must know the list and ID type full name property of the list I will just type here so you will get more clear list list item entity type full name so we we need to know this property name of the list actually were we given like this suppose if you like the metadata we will return here metadata so in the metadata we have to pass what our type of the list so we'll put like type then here we have to pass our this property this list item and a full type type full name property so to get this property actually what we have to do is like we will just copy our employee list so just copy our employee list okay we already have our employee list here so this is our employee list okay employee so now what we have to do 
we have to just copy our employee list so we will okay I think now you can see so now what we have to do we have to copy our property so we'll just copy employee get by title our API if we pass our API to our website so this is spitak world we will just paste this employee okay so now we retrieve our list so now what we property we want we want the list item and a default name so so that what we have to do question mark this one we already discussed in our previous blog so we will put like select select equal to which thing we want list item entity full name list entity type full name so if you type this and if you plus enter and if you go to SP like the same thing like list item entity full name see here you can see the entity full name if suppose I zoom now you can see clearly this is our type so if you see this one you can do without going to this side also you can do like this uh, just type sp dot data dot then your list name then list item so in our case our list is employee so just copy this one go to our type just paste here so now we mention our list type so now the next thing what we have to pass here we have to pass our title age and experience so first thing we just passed so just put this on comma okay now next one so next what is the next object we have to pass we have to pass title so just put our title so what we have to pass title we mentioned in our HTML file so what's the value we have put title here it's the name so okay we have to get this value so to get this value we will do in jQuery like the same thing dollar we will just pass our ID then paste dot value so now we got the value now what's the next thing we want pass we want to pass age so same thing age then we have to copy so what the property we given for the age so the age we have to pass the ID so the ID what we written here it's written like employee age so we just copy employee age come to our JS file just change age the next property experience so to get the experience the same thing our actually we have to put here our same list field okay in our case if you go to your employee list you can see I'll show you okay if we go to our employee list see actually in our case title for the name we given this is age and experience so we have to put the same field name so we will put like experience so next thing is experience okay so the experience also we have to given the IDs like employee experience that you can see in your HTML file if you go to your HTML file you can see what we given employee experience okay so employee experience okay we have to change the id so now what we have to put we have to already added this styles experience okay now we will close this one okay so now we got all the values here so in the post request so in the success we can get the data whether it is success or not or we can put the alert also so we have to add one more thing we have to add the items here then we will save so employee items so then we just added the data then we pass title age experience okay so now we will check our data so just save this one and just run so go to your employee page just refresh here just type the name so we will type like Matt so we'll put the age like uh, 30 year of experience is like 14 so we'll click submit so we'll get the desired output success so now we press ok just refresh the page so you can see uh, successfully implemented our add function so if we go to the list it also added here 
So one thing you have to consider here, other than the get request, we have to change the type to post. Then we have to pass our data like json.stringify. So we have to pass our uh, JavaScript object. So then we will pass our type. So the type function we already mentioned. Uh, anyway, we can use by full name in the uh, browser entity or you can type easily like sp.data.your list name list item. Then you have to pass the field which you want. So we have implemented successfully our create list item task. So if you like my training, please like and subscribe so that you will get all the upcoming video notifications. Thank you so much.